California sea otters, king of the kelp beds as they're known, kelp beds upon which so much marine life depends. But the life of these sea otters is being threatened by an unlikely creature, cats. Since the mid-90s, the otters have been dying from a form of encephalitis, a brain disease they get only from cats who carry it but rarely die from it. There's not a lot of cats in the ocean, and so this was um, initially quite perplexing to us, but we realized that in some way or another, these parasites were getting from the land into the sea. The disease, called toxoplasma, is caused by a single-cell parasite that is virtually indestructible. These parasites end up forming cysts up in the brain. These can be from very small to actually quite large cysts. In humans, encephalitis causes schizophrenia, and it affects otters in a similar way. They twitch, lose motor function, and scientists say sick otters are four times more likely to be eaten by sharks. But how were these parasites getting from cats to otters? Researchers noticed higher rates of infection where streams and sloughs emptied into the ocean and correctly guessed that's how the disease was spread. The scat of one infected cat can contain millions of parasites, and a single parasite can prove fatal to sea otters. A University of California Davis biologist, Karen Shapiro, studied a slough near Cannery Row and compared it to marshlands more protected by vegetation. Shapiro released tiny plastic beads in different parts of the slough and then took water samples back to the lab for analysis. Shapiro found that a healthy 100-meter stretch of marsh filters out virtually all the beads, but what happens in mud really surprised her. Take away the vegetation at the 36% rate that it's been lost, and now you get almost a million. Shapiro says what people do on land affects what happens in the ocean and on marine life. And she has a message for cat lovers. Keep your cat indoors. Don't feed cat colonies. And one more thing. If you like sea otters, don't flush the kitty litter down the toilet. For This American Land, this is Bruce Burkhardt.